In this video, we will talk about chromosome banding techniques. So, let's discuss. Banding technique for chromosomes. Well, it's a staining technique for chromosomes. As we have discussed, the preparation of karyotypes, in which cells are grown in short-term culture. The cells enter metaphase of mitosis. The chromosomes are not allowed to enter the anaphase. They are arrested to metaphase. As these chromosomes are treated with mitotic inhibitor, such as colchicin. That's why cells are arrested at metaphase. Cells are then spread on blast slide, and then staining of these metaphasic chromosome with genes a stain is carried out. This will complete our chromosome banding. The metaphase chromosomes are stained. In order to visualize the chromosomes, the metaphase chromosomes are stained as they are highly condensed and easily visualized. The chromosomes are stained in bands and we can determine the karyotype of an organism by these techniques. The chromosomes are stained in dark and light bands. Now let's discuss different chromosome banding techniques. First is the G banding. It name comes from James Astain. In this technique, there is proteolysis of metaphase chromosomes with trepsin, which partially digest the chromosomes, then staining with James Adai, as a result of which these are dark and light bands. Dark bands are rich in adenine and thymine and light bands are rich in guanine and cytosine. Next type of banding is R banding. It is called R banding because it is a reverse of James staining. It means dark band in G banding is light band in R banding and vice versa. In this type of staining, chromosomes are denatured with heat. Then there is staining with James Adai. Dark bands are rich in guanine and cytosine. Light bands are rich in adenine and thymine. Next is Q banding. In this type of banding, chromosomes are treated with quinacrine mustard dye. The result is same as James staining. Dark bands are rich in adenine and thymine. Light bands are rich in guanine and cytosine. Next is the C banding. In this type of banding, chromosomes are treated with barium hydroxide, then staining with James dye. Only dark bands will be formed. That constitutes of heterochromatin. Heterochromatin is a cytologically dense material that is typically found at centromeres and telomeres. Moving forward, the most important banding techniques include G banding, R banding, Q banding, and C banding. In the first three banding techniques of G, R, and C, we use James Adai to stain the chromosome, while as in Q banding, we use quinacrine dye to stain the chromosomes. So, this was all about chromosome banding techniques. In our next video, we will talk about fluorescent in situ hybridization. Watch our medical videos anytime and anywhere. Download Scotia.com app now.